In this tutorial, I'm going to show how you can use mask layers to create stencil effects. Now the first thing to talk about really is the principle of what a mask layer is. So here I have a scrapbook page. It currently has two layers, a background layer and layer one. Now to create a mask layer, I'm going to add another layer using the plus button here. And then once you've created your mask layer, you need to right click on the layer and go down and tick mask. And now if I draw a shape on this mask layer, I'm just going to choose a circle. And to activate the mask layer, I actually need to lock it. And you can do that by clicking this little padlock button next to the layer. And you can see what that's done. It's effectively masked out all of the areas of layer one other than those that were covered by the shape that I added to my mask layer. Now at the moment my mask layer is only masking one layer down to layer one. You can actually change that as well. If you right click again on the layer, choose layer properties, and here on the mask option it asks you how many layers down do you want your mask to work. So I could set that to two, click OK, and now you can see that mask layer is masking both layer one and the background because it's going two layers deep. So that's the principle of using a mask layer. Now I want to actually use this to create a really creative stencil type effect. So I'm actually going to delete this mask layer that I created before. This time I'm going to create two new layers by clicking the add layer button twice. And I'm going to make my top layer, layer three, my mask. So again, I'm going to right click on that and change it to a mask layer. Now last time I drew a shape on my mask layer, but actually you can use any object or text even to create a mask. So this time I'm going to use some text. I'll type in my title. I can move text around and change the font as I normally would. And now to activate my mask layer, I'm going to click the padlock button on layer three. Now although that doesn't appear to have masked anything, at the moment this layer three is only masking layer two, and at the moment I haven't actually added anything to layer two. So now what I want to do is select layer two, and I'm going to get my paintbrush tool. I'm going to choose a charcoal effect in white. And now when I paint on that layer two, the only areas that are going to show through are areas that are on my mask layer. So if I zoom into that area under the photo, using my charcoal brush, I'll just start making some strokes. And as you can see, this is working just like a stencil would. So although I'm sketching very roughly, only areas within the stencil are showing through. Now it's worth saying you can even use embellishments as masks. So let's go back to the layer tab. And I'll go back to my mask layer, layer three. And I need to unlock it. Now the mask is deactivated actually. You can see those brush strokes that I made before. Now this time I want to add an embellishment to my mask layer. And I'm just gonna choose this scroll here. I'll make that a bit smaller. And just put it in this corner. Again, I'll go back to my mask layer lock it to activate it and go back to layer two select my brush tool again i think this time i'm going to do my brush strokes in brown i'll zoom in again and again i can very roughly sketch under the area where i put that embellishment on my mask layer and you can see again that that embellishment is effectively acting as a stencil This technique is a great way to create some unique effects that are very difficult to achieve using any other technique.